Hello guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I am Max from SketchUp TV and today we are animating something in principle and it will be this screen right here which is also down in the description uh, where you can download it and what we want to do is to animate um, this photo or this uh, screenshot right here. It's basically a dribble concept and I think you know the moment when you like tap this uh, photo in your gallery or somewhere and you just want it to be big, you want to zoom in and so on and I made a version where it turns on 90, 90 degrees and we have a nice little blur in the background and what we want to do is to just uh, get a nice animation between uh, this screen right here and the version where we have the image fully uh, um, at full uh, width where you can also zoom in and out on the photo. So it's a common problem and a common thing for you to animate as an animation designer and I think we should ju just uh, start out by opening principle and we go for the normal iPhone 6 preset. Okay. And as usual, we have to uh, export our assets from Sketch. So we have our basic, um, our basic uh, background uh, UI that we need. And I already exported this one, but without the photo. So uh, with the photo, okay, yeah. Because we wanted to have the photo um, separately exported, so we just uh, hide it from our concept. I already uh, exported this run right here, but now we also say we want to make this one exportable. So you click the plus right here and uh, yeah, just say export photo. And we have to name it add to x because that's important when importing it to principle. Okay, so what we need now is the blur screen right here. Let's also make this one exportable. Add to X. We need uh, the darken screen. Add to X. And we need our um, photo that's, that's expanded. You can also uh, write the suffix down right here, I guess. So yeah, it's just the same. So there we have this. And now we have to drag in all the elements from our folder. So we have the folder right here. So that's our background and I just rename it. Oops. So there it is. Just start by dragging in all the elements of our UI. Okay, so that will be of course our first artboard, but we will need a second one where there is the expanded image. And here we need our normal photo, which will be down here. Just reposition it. You can also view it on this side to see a bigger image of it, like that. And that's basically it for our first artboard. And on the second one, we just want all these elements um, as well. So you just copy and paste them, but without the photo. Delete the photo and drag in um, the blur and the darken version. So I just drag in the blur and our darken layer. You could also just uh, use a rectangle with less opacity and a, a dark on or a grayish color. But we just did it now with um, a normal export, which is also just fine. And of course, our big photo. Just drag it in. And now we have to give our um, photo the same name as it's on the first artboard and 
Maybe it even does this by default, but we just uh, create a new normal tap animation from tapping the photo to the second artboard. Okay, but what it does now is it just expands it and it doesn't turn it as we want it. I want it to be turned and to be expanded. So what we do is we go for this one right here, I call it photo 2 and I also place it on our first screen. Now I say that the angle should be minus 90 degrees and I want it to be smaller. I want it to be the same size as the first one is. So just reposition it. Like this. And um, so we have several ways. We could say we just delete our first photo, which is okay. But we could also say um, we change the opacity of this one to just 0% and I think it should, it should just do the same thing. So as you see, uh, we have the turn animation and we have some expansion right there but what I want to have as well is of course these two layers they are just popping in at the moment but I want to have them smooth so we just paste them here as well and we change the opacity of both of them also to 0% and now you see that we have a nice a better uh, animation between these background elements as well. Okay, so we can also say we want a little X right here, or some. Or we can also say if a user is tapping this area, he's he gets back to the normal first screen. So you just uh, select your layer right here, the darken layer and we go for tap and the tap is bringing us back to the normal screen and you see it just uh, having a nice animation there between these two screens so to show you the other way which I mentioned before is we could of course delete this one so we only have um, the photo 2 layer on each page and I think that could be a, actually a better way to do it. We will test that out right now. And I think that looks better because we don't have these um, opacity things going on right here. And we just have the natural content image expanding and turning as we want it to be. So yeah, that was just a small tutorial to show you something about turning elements in principle and of course, just something new for inspiration or for your design process to learn and so on. And if you like this tutorial, I would love to see, to, uh, see you as a subscriber of this channel. And of course, if you have any feedback or questions or something, just leave them down in the comments below. And I'm sure I can help you with your questions. So yeah, thank you for your time and enjoy your day. See you!